What in the world? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do I go? Oh, you got time, Greetings, friends. I'm Mike the Fit Farmer, and years ago I moved my family out of the city to homestead in the country. Join me as I share our adventures of growing stuff, striving to live a healthy lifestyle, and so much more. Oh, and we live in a yurt. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and share this video with a friend. At first, the day started off like a typical day. Each member of the family has various chores and things that we need to get done each morning. And Hezekiah, our youngest, really enjoys hanging out with me while I do my chores because he just loves being outside. Are you ready to go outside? Outside. 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 <laughs> and my primary chores here on the farmstead is to take care of our egg laying chickens in the pasture as well as our meat birds. And since these areas are a good distance from our house, well, we generally drive one of the vehicles loaded up with feed and water to tend to those animals. And when I have Kai with me, it's easier to have him on my back versus on my chest while I'm doing the chores. So as we ride over there, I'm leaning as far forward as I can to drive over to those areas to tend to the animals. And generally in the mornings, there's not really anything that I need to do with our egg layers. I usually have to tend to them later in the day after they laid their eggs. But I do have to take care of our meat birds. I have to move them on fresh grass each morning. And usually Micah, another one of our boys, tags along with Kai and me to help us out. And when we raise meat birds, I generally have multiple tractors full of either chickens or ducks to move. However, because of what happened today, I wasn't able to do any of that stuff first thing in the morning. Nope, instead, as we are riding along in the van like normal, here is where it changed and it was different. As we're driving down the driveway in the van and I glance at our dairy cow like I normally do, I had to do a double take because what I saw in there was not what I was expecting to see. What in the world? <laughs> Super exciting. May. You see that Hezekiah? You see it? Little baby cow? Yeah. Cow. Yeah, cow. Ooh. What do you guys think? Cute. Man. I think it's a boy. <laughs> oh, man. And while we're sitting there enjoying this new baby, I'm like, oh, Josiah, go get your mom. Because she was on the other side of the property harvesting honeysuckle and had no idea what was going on. And then when she came over to see it, her expression and her response was just priceless. Josiah just ran and told me that there's a calf. Oh, okay. I gotta see. <gasps> Look at the baby! <gasps> May! That is so cute. Oh! oh. Hey, baby. Yeah. Hey, May. It's okay. <gasps> A little hairy. Look! Oh, look at that baby! <laughs> Oh. Baby. Yeah. This is so amazing. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's not that old. There's the afterbirth over there on the ground. Uh -oh. Y'all stay back. Yeah, don't startle them. Oh. I'm so nervous. Oh. 
You see it? Little baby cow. Hey, May. That's my girl. And yep, your response was just, man, it's just priceless. <laughs> I so enjoyed it. I was so it. excited. This is my first calf here on the homestead. And I had to get really close. I wanted to see, you know, how close May would let me get. And I wanted to know if it was a boy or a girl. Oh, man. Your hooves are still soft. Looks like it just happened, doesn't it? Yeah, not too long ago. Man. Look, there's the afterbirth right there. <laughs> there you can tell. Yep. Part of the process. You didn't even give us a peep or nothing, May. Dog didn't bark. You're such a good mama. You see it? You see it? <laughs> the boy or girl, can you tell? Can't tell? It's hard to tell. I'm not close enough. Yeah. cute and adorable and fluffy look at that long fur this baby might be a highland jersey cross last fall we got mama our first family milk cow from our friends randy and lindy and they didn't know if she was pregnant or not so they also had a highland bull that was a part of their herd so there's a good chance and probably definitely happened that our family milk cow, Aunt May, got some action <laughs> from a Highland bull. Definitely looking at the baby, that was probably the case. At first I couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. And Josiah thinks that it's a boy. Could he be right? Yeah. I've never seen a calf right after it was born this close before. It's actually a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh man. See you checking now, what you think back there? <laughs> oh, you hear that Taylor? Is that what you guess? Yep. <laughs> man, exciting. We'll give them some time together, let them calm down. To be honest with you, this was a big surprise to me. We knew that the possibility of her having a baby was there, but it was a big surprise. And if she was pregnant, we had no idea how far along she was because a cow, the pregnancy is nine months. It's 283 days for most cows and Jersey cows is like 278. So if she was pregnant, we like had no idea where she was. And for the past several months, like she had been showing signs of cycling and her milk production would go down whenever I would see discharge. So there were signs that I thought as a newbie were showing that she wasn't pregnant. And I kind of thought that she had just been gaining a little bit of weight since we had been feeding her really well. I mean, really well. We've been giving her Redmond conditioner, Redmond garlic salt, fresh grass, grass clippings oats, sunflower seeds, and hay. I had been milking May up until the day that she gave birth, which is definitely not ideal. Ideally, you want to stop milking 60 days before they give birth so they can build up the colostrum for the baby. I came inside and made colostrum according to the directions on the package and I mixed that with some of May's milk. And of course, the kitchen looks like a disaster because our dishwasher broke, but that's all just gonna have to wait because the most important thing right now is the calf. Put my farm clothes on. we had a challenge. How would we give this colostrum to the baby? Because with most animals, the 
moms are pretty protective. So, to entice mom away, I gathered up some of her favorite grass clippings. So I take the grass clippings over to her milk stanchion like I normally do, and thankfully she is eager to eat it like normal. milking her because I wanted to make sure she did not develop mastitis. Well, that's an infection that we don't need. Baby is definitely nursed on that side. But you can tell that she, she nursed? Yeah, I can tell because that quarter is so much smaller. Right. Actually, that, that whole side. Good sign. Like her right back quarter is the biggest. It holds the most milk. It takes me the longest to milk out of any of them. Way to go, man. Way to go. You did it. You did it. I'm still glad you love your grass here. <laughs> I'm glad we learned about this. <laughs> baby has drained two quarters so she's drained her left side front and back teeth so at least we know that she is nursing which is really good so we want to make sure she gets enough colostrum and I need a, a couple quarts of milk to mix and if I don't get it here I can I have some from yesterday's I can mix them there and after Lacey finished milk and Aunt May with her in the milk stanchion, now was the time to get the colostrum in the baby. Not yet. Okay, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you? You are not happy. Hang in there. Hang in there. Over there. Come on. Yeah. Here we go. And then, bam! Somehow Aunt May bust out of the stanchion and Mama is not happy and she's running over there towards her baby and I'm like, 
She's coming. She's coming. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where do I go? And I hear Mike yelling that May's coming. Sayla has been trying to record me giving the bottle to the baby. So I let the baby go. Sayla freezes and she goes back and forth and I'm like, get away from the baby. And May's coming and she didn't know what to do and I was like, get over the bleeping fence. <laughs> <laughs> and I normally do not curse at my children, <laughs> but it was a very intense moment, and I really didn't want her to get run over by our milk cow. <laughs> not my finest moment. <laughs> I apologize to her later. Oh, but Sayla was totally fine. Everyone was totally fine, <laughs> and it all worked out. And May didn't get nearly as close as you actually think she did. No. No. And then we let everyone and everything calm down. <laughs> and then we call up our friend Lindy for some additional counsel and advice. Give her some molasses and warm water and give the baby colostrum and then I'll probably pick up some calcium too that in a tube just to have you it. Always have one on hand. Yeah. When you're when you're potentially going to have a cap and it was also so neat to hear her excitement for our big surprise for today. We love these Highland Crosses. They're just so solid. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, congratulations, guys. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, uh, let us know how it goes. I'll be watching for a video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we kept an eye on them all day long because the baby was born in the morning and. Throughout the day, we did different things. Mike expanded their fence area so they have more uh, room to move around. And I covered up the afterbirth to take care of that because the flies this time of year are relentless. And I saw her kind of like hopping around and playing a little bit, which always makes you feel good whenever you see them. And I saw her use the bathroom. So those things are all good signs. And it's so amazing to see how an animal, its first day of life, can stand and walk and even prance around. It's just amazing. And I really wanted to give the baby more colostrum because she didn't drink that much the first time. And I was like, oh boy, here we go again. I'm like, all right, we're gonna do a couple things a little bit different this time. First off, Sailor stay way over there. <laughs> and I'm like, we're gonna secure her down really, really well to this stanchion, making sure that she can't get out from the back. And we actually tied her down <laughs> two times <laughs> to the stanchion in the front. <laughs> and with this experience, I was like, I definitely need a headlock on this stanchion as well. So. It's on the list. Work in progress right now. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> and this time went a lot better and she drank more and I actually got to dip the umbilical cord in iodine too. Something I wanted to do the first time but it's hard to do when a mad cow's chasing you. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> this was, man, let me tell you, this, this day was a big surprise, a, a full of just adrenaline rush, especially with us being newbies doing these things for the first time. Your heart's like pumping. And to be honest with you, I am not a surprise person. I really don't like surprises. I like to know what I'm going to get, when I'm going to get it, and look forward to that. But I also realized that life happens and surprises are constantly thrown at you. And this was one of those days. And oh man. <sighs> Still feel like I'm trying to calm down a little bit, I but know, right? it's super exciting at the same time. And just another one of the learning lessons that had come along with this experience, because there's been a lot for sure. Another one was I just saw her laying down a lot and I just started to get concerned for her. So that next morning I was like, I just got to get up and check on her. So I went outside to check on her. There they are. Hey. Hey, what are we doing? Mama and baby just hanging out. Yeah, just hanging out. 
I was getting pretty nervous. She was just laying down. Ladder party yesterday, and I'm like, oh no, what's going on now? But glad to see her up moving around. I guess she was just, just tired when I saw her. Hey, hey. Going back to mama. <laughs> I love to see that little youthful <laughs> bounce. There it is again. And I woke up in the middle of the night and went out there to go check on them. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> but I did get the research and I saw that in the first week of their lives that calves lay down a lot. So that actually did bring me some relief. But it does bring me some relief to see her just running around and being happy. And she is the cutest little, well, she's not really little. She's actually pretty big. <laughs> But she is just cute and fluffy. This was just another one of those amazing experiences that we can add to the list of things that we've experienced here together. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need your help. Last year when we got Mama, we decided to name her Aunt May. Primarily based off of the Spider-Man character Aunt May. But we need a name for the baby and we need your help figuring it out. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. We would love to hear them.